President Marcos Jr. said after his fighter jet ride experience that the Philippines needs to boost its defense capabilities and build credible defense posture to effectively defend our territory. This year will really be interesting, with words coming from the Commander-in-Chief and the events happening at the start of 2023. After C-130Js and LRPA's project materialization, who knows? The MRF might be next. The activity was conducted upon the invitation of the Philippine Air Force for the Commander-in-Chief to personally test the aircraft. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. on Wednesday lauded the flight maneuver skills of Philippine Air Force pilots, emphasizing the need to continue modernizing and improving the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, military capabilities to effectively safeguard the country's maritime territory. He made this remark a day after flying on board an FA-5OPH fighter jet at the Clark Air Base in Pampanga to witness its capability in a flight demonstration. According to our sources within the circle of press, Marcos, there are indeed people close to the president, as well as lawmakers and people with influence that are advising press. Marcos to negotiate with the U.S. as part of improving military ties and as deterrents to China, to get the Vipers plus several earlier versions of the F-16C-D Fighting Falcon as interim while new builds are still under construction as part of a friendly and more affordable package that includes foreign military financing option. Due to budget issues, the Philippines is only interested in the older JAS-39 Gripen C-D fighters rather than the latest Gripen E-F, but even then, funding remains an issue as the Philippine government has not made any allocation for fiscal year 2023 for the initial payment to start the multi-role fighter acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force.